want to welcome all of the viewers to WTJR and our live audience here. We thought it would be fun to have a little pre-telethon celebration, sort of like Gaither in the round setting here. We want you to join us right there in your living room or wherever you're watching this program. Uh, we know that we have many people who are watching from prison. We want you to join us in singing. Uh, just wake up everybody else there at the joint and let them hear you singing because there's nothing like making a joyful noise to the Lord. And so let's just get right into it. And uh, we have our Quincy Tabernacle Choir here, I'm calling them. And this has just been a great time for the pre-telethon uh, celebration. Uh, join in with us as we sing some of the great oldies. Let's just start off with, Well, one glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to my home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Well, do, Lord, oh, do, Lord, oh, do remember me. saints go marching in and when that trump begins to sound when the trump begins to sound lord i want to be in that number when the trump begins to sound amen yeah. you know some of you watching the program you're thinking about singing with us and i can remember a time when i had two older sisters singing well, my parents singing well. Some of you know my sister, Dr. Deborah Peppers, who preceded Gary on the outreach connection here. And they would sit around the living room and they would sing. And I was a 13 year old, my voice was changing. I couldn't sing to carry a tune in a bucket. I can remember finally asking God, would you please let me make a joyful noise unto you? And it was as though I, I didn't hear an audible voice, but it was like, if you've ever taken your children's drawings when they're in kindergarten or first grade, and you really can't tell whether it's a cow or a house, but you put it on your refrigerator anyway. And I just pictured God taking our screeches, our flats and our sharps, but when we do it from our heart and sing unto him, I think he sort of puts it on his refrigerator in heaven and says, that's my girl. That's my boy. So those of you watching this program, we want you to be blessed, but we want you to be a blessing by being involved with us. Let's just sing one of the great oldies. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to care. Thing to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. And oh, what needless pain we bear. All because, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. How I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a Sinners was slain. 
to sing that again, but I think that this might be a ministry moment for somebody watching this program. I'm reminded of Ephesians 1.11 that says, we serve the God who works out all things, all things, according to the counsel of his own will. And my friend, that means his timing as well. His timing is perfect. He's never a moment early. He's never a moment late. And you might not feel like singing tonight, but I challenge you especially in those moments when you just don't feel like it, do it. Let your spirit man take precedence. He's worthy of our praise, amen? Whether we are feeling that valley experience or whether we're having a mountaintop moment. And if we trust him, if we trust him, then we know that it's in his time, not too soon, not too late, that he'll work out everything. He'll make it beautiful in his time. And right there in your home, would you please join us in considering that God's timing in your trial is working out perfectly. In his time, in his time, he makes all things beautiful in his time. Lord, my life to you I bring. May every song I sing be to you a lovely thing in your time. Lord, please show me every day as you're teaching me your way that you do just what you say. When does he do it? In your time. I heard a song recently, learned it, and had never heard it before. In 30 years of ministry, Gary, I had just come across this beautiful song. And since finding this song, perhaps those of you in the viewing audience have heard it many times. It was new to me but found out that it's been recorded by so many people. And it's just one of those great melodies, and the words with it, I think, are so comforting. And if you know it, please sing it with me. If not, I'll try to teach it to you tonight. It simply goes, I asked the Lord to comfort me. Things weren't going my way And he said to me I'll comfort you And I'll lift those cares away So I ask the Lord To walk with me when darkness was all that I knew And he said to me 
never be afraid. Remember, I'm always right here with you. I didn't ask God for riches, yet he gave me wealth untold. The sun and the moon, the stars and the sky, he gave me two eyes to behold. Now I thank the Lord for everything, and I count my blessings every day. He came to me when I needed him. I only had to pray. And he'll come to you if you'll ask him to. You see, he's only a prayer of We hadn't planned this, but I know that that ministered to somebody who needs to call upon the Lord. Let's just pray. Heavenly Father, we lift up that viewer in particular, all of the viewers who need to be reminded that their loving Heavenly Father, God Almighty, not God part mighty, God Almighty is just a prayer away. Heavenly Father, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus, and I'm joined here by my brothers and sisters in Christ, many of them in ministry, many of them prayer warriors, and we just want to reach through the camera to those who are watching this fun celebration of old time music. And we're just asking in the name of Jesus that you would minister to them. Remind them right now, God, that in making a joyful noise to the Lord, it irritates the devil, it breaks strongholds, and when we make a joyful noise to you, God, when we remember that you're only a prayer away, when we are reminded that you will never leave us, you'll never forsake us, then we are reminded whose we are. And that tells us who we are. We're members of the royal family. And I pray for that viewer watching this fun pre-telethon celebration right now, that he is special, she is special to you. And if people have caused them to doubt their worth, yes. I pray that they would look at that cross right, right behind me now, and they would think the lengths to which you went, Heavenly Father, in sending your son to that old rugged cross, and that in that process they would be reminded just how special they are. And we ask all of this in Jesus' blessed and precious name. Amen. 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 Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I have was, was lost, but now. grace that had taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved how precious that grace of fear the hour may not know the words, you can sing, praise God, praise God, and sing it from your heart as you join us. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. 
You know, I'm reminded that we have a lot of young viewers watching WTJR and hope that you're joining in with the singing. I'm reminded of something that we did a number of years ago at Camp Penuel, Karen. Camp Penuel is this wonderful camp outside of uh, Lake Killarney, Missouri, down uh, near Festus. And recently, our dear brother uh, went to be with the Lord who had started that camp. And his daughter and son-in-law have continued that camp. And it's for 7 to 11-year-olds, many of them inner-city kids. We've had a number from the Quincy area. Uh, we've had them from all over, Chicago. We've had them from uh, East St. Louis, Illinois. But Reverend Harry Duma would take these precious children in, and he would just love on them. Many of them had never been out of the war zone of the inner city. And there they could get in canoes, and they could boat, and they could swim, and they would present the gospel. And I remember a very touching story that Brother Duma shared with me not long before he went to be with the Lord. He read to me a letter. And I would just, uh, as I'm reminded of this, those of you who are watching this pre-telethon celebration, you, you never know how much one donation or one word of encouragement sending a child to camp or helping us to air another program of reaching out. And in this particular case, there's a suburb in St. Louis known as Berkeley. It's near where many of the problems have taken place in Ferguson recently. And the Berkeley police chief wrote a letter to Brother Harry Duma, and he said, perhaps you saw on the news recently, a seven-year-old boy was caught in crossfire and killed by gangs warring. He said, Reverend Duma, I knew that you would want to know that little Josiah accepted the Lord Jesus Christ at Camp Penuel this past summer. And though he is no longer with us here, he is with the Lord himself. Praise Praise God. God. Well, I had taken my guitar and I was in my jeans and my sweatshirt and we were down around the campfire, about 75, 7 to 11 year olds. So we're just going to pretend for a moment that we're a bunch of kids again because we're all God's kids here that have trusted the Lord Jesus Christ. And those of you who really are children, you probably know this, but one of the more traditional verses goes, well, I've been redeemed. You know this one? Okay, you sing it out as my backup echo here. And those of you watching by TV, you sing as my backup too. Well, I've been redeemed, I've been redeemed by, the blood of the lamb. by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed, I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, filled with the Holy Ghost I am. All my sins are washed away, and I've been redeemed. Well, this precious little girl, I'm guessing her to be about 9, 10 years old, she raises her hand from among the 75 or 80 kids out there, and she said, Hey, mister, <laughs> I know a verse to that. And I said, Okay, honey, come on up. Gave her the microphone, and this is what she sang. So uh, there in your home and here in the studio, let's just honor that little girl leading us in song when she said, Oh, you can't get to heaven, oh, you can't get to heaven. On, roller on roller skates. No, you can't get to heaven. On roller skates, no, you can't get to heaven on roller skates. You roll right past those pearly gates. All of my sins are washed away, and I've been redeemed. Well, I see her friend raise her hand. Mister, I know a verse too, and I'm thinking if all of these children know a verse, we're going to be here till Jesus returns. That'd be all right. And she sang this. Sing it out with me. Oh, you can't get to heaven. Down in a limousine. In a limousine. No, you can't get to heaven. In a limousine. No, you can't get to heaven in a limousine. Cause God don't use no gasoline. All of my sins are washed away and I've been redeemed. Now to show you how long ago this was. I had Christian brothers and sisters who were telling me all about Bush and my other brothers and sisters in Christ telling me all about Gore and they were going to just, you know, give me the reasons why I ought to vote for their candidate. And I said, you know what? 
I think I have a verse. So sing along with me. This takes us back many years. Oh, you can't get to heaven. Oh, you can't get to heaven. With bush or gore. With bush or gore. No, you can't get to heaven. No, you can't get to heaven. With bush or gore. No, you can't get to heaven with bush or gore. Jesus is the one we're voting for. All of my sins are washed away and I've been redeemed. You can talk about me. As much as you please, you can talk about me. As much as you please, you can talk about me as much as you please. I'll talk about you down on my knees. All my sins are washed away and I've been redeemed. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. And be glad in it, and be glad in it. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. He's the only way that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Be glad in Him, be glad in Jesus. He is the way that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in Him. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the way that the Lord has made. Amen. have one more suggestion here as we kind of come down the home stretch I'll I'll share one song if I may in a moment over at the piano something that I pray would bless you for being here in studio with us and helping us with this celebration and I pray it'll bless those watching the program but let's sing one more together what shall it be why would you pick one on air that I do not know no. <laughs> What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. When I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and leads me through his promised land. What a day, glorious day. That will be. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Here at the WTGR studio, we pray that our celebration has been a blessing to you and pray that you joined us in song, that you weren't just a spectator but a participator. You know, when we make a joyful noise to the Lord, we break through. We have something that transforms within us because we realize that like the Apostle Paul said, it's no longer we who live, but it's Christ who lives in us. And the lives that we now live in these bodies, we live by the faith of the Son of God who loved us and who gave himself for us. I know that some of you are going through some very difficult times, and I pray that even going back to some of the great old hymns and praise songs has been a blessing to you. But more than that, we pray that it has been a motivation to you to get into the Word and to get into the old hymn book and to begin to take your authority in the spirit realm. You know, we don't struggle with flesh and blood. I know that some of you think that you are that person at work and that person that seems to be a little cranky, maybe even down the hall from you. Somebody said there are really only five or six grouchy people in the whole world. They just move around a lot, and that's why we encounter them so often. But we have an opportunity to come into the throne room of grace every time we lift up a song of praise. You know, years ago, I was going through one of the most difficult times of my life, and I was enough of a Christian to say, God, I'm not asking why me, but I am asking what you want me to learn from this. And very quickly, I scribbled the words and the music, and what he ministered to me that night, I pray would minister to you at home and to all of you here in the studio audience. You've been a blessing to me.
in those times you don't understand why things aren't working out quite the way you had them planned when doors you prayed would open seem shut tighter than before and though you've prayed for fewer problems seems you've gotten more can you relate on those days you're hoping for some rest wondering if you'll hold up under such a wondering if god's left you to work this one out alone but you know he's never left you so far he never leaves his own he's just teaching you to trust him he knows what's best for you take the time to listen to your father's point of view he's going to see you through he just wants you to trust him when the mountain that you're facing looks too big to move it's worn you down completely you got nothing left to prove that's when you're so close to seeing your victory flag unfurled in your weakness you'll find his strength jesus said i've overcome the world and i'm teaching you to trust me and what i have to say teaching you to lean on me so i can have my perfect way and it's going to be okay i just want you to trust me especially when you're feeling down you've got to trust me i'm going to turn things all around so trust me every day to every word i say my son my daughter those of you watching by tv remember i'm the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end i'm not god part mighty i'm god almighty i have it all worked out for you i'm ordering your steps and i have a plan for your life that you will not even believe you want to help me? Just trust me.